Welcome back to more Dragon's Dawn of New Riders, everybody. In the last episode, we were here in Havenholm Ruins, and we're going to um, advance forward, actually. So let's do it. To continue on with this dungeon, as you know, we um, we did a lot. We did a lot in the last video. Wait, was there a switch over there? No, right? No. Okay. Just, just making sure I'm going a little crazy already. But yeah, um, we did do a lot in the last video, which was pretty good. But we got a lot more work to do here, apparently, with another chest over there. I wonder what we'll find in here. Let's see. This here, we get, oh yes, another heart. I mean, the more hearts, the better, right? Okay, so there's a chest up there, but we cannot go this way because the stairs are actually broken. Great, wonderful. So we're going to have to go around. Here there's a big puzzle, but before I do any of that... I'm going to get that chest down there. Alright, this one. Uh, 120, okay. Pretty good. So yeah, there's a door closed, and I believe there's another one on the other side as well. Yeah. So, let's see here. Basically, if we push... Um, I'm trying to think about this, because if, if I push... Actually, would that even work? If I push that one there, no, I would have I would have to push the other one over. I think, because like you can't really get in here, you know, to go like that. So the only way that I can actually effectively do this, since I can only move forward, is to push one on either side. Push the what is what is this here? Yeah, I can't break that. There's no way. Oh my god! Well, I didn't really mean to do that, I guess, but. No, I can push the other one though, like if you go... If you go like this... Yeah, you can push that one like that, okay. Well, that makes sense, I, I suppose. Um, I think I did it wrong though, because yeah, I have to go... To the left, let's see. If I push that like that, and then go... I think it should work like that. Uh, maybe not, actually. Yeah, because no matter where I push that one... Well, no, no, I can still make it work. If you go like this... I think it only push it one to the right, not two. Yeah, so in that case, we're, we're, we're good, because... Wait, no, 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 I'm still doing it wrong, because... Hold on a sec, push that one down. I think I'm doing something uh, a little off here. Hold on, I got, I, I got a better idea. Because you can really only do so much, and if you go... Wait, what, what, why did I... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that, actually. Crap, why did I push the one over there? That was really stupid of me. There we go. Like that. And then... Like... Well, no, I don't think it would work like that. No. This one should have worked. Yeah, and I can get in there. Okay, that was the that was the big concern. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get in there. Sorry, I definitely messed that one up like big time, but I got it now. Okay, let's take a look at where we can go on the map. Mm, I mean, it looks like either or works, so we'll just choose a pathway. Okay, I'm going to open that. Not bad. Look, Patch, who would do such a thing? We need to help that dragon. Oh no. Yes, let's help the dragon, indeed. Oh no, get over here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Smash cages open by hitting them with your uh, weapon. Yeah, okay, I will do that. I'm just uh, getting some materials first. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. 
There's a dragon save. Yeah, that's about it. So now we can go this way. There's a pathway up. Yeah, that's going to lead to the end, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to explore the right side. Oh, these guys. Got them all. Okay, not too bad. So... This pathway really only led to, um... I mean, I guess pretty much nothing. Like, there's areas there, but I don't even think I can cross those. Like, I'm pretty sure I can't. I'm at 14 treasures, by the way. I don't know if I missed one or if there actually is one guarded by the boss. I don't remember this, but we will see. Um, I don't suppose you're friends with Hiccup and Astra, too. Hardly, but I once had a dragon that looked just like your hatchling. He was a different color, though, and grew to be a, bro a brodoing. How is it possible that there is another? Surely she couldn't have... Wait, have you seen a Chimeragon before? Chimeragon? Clever. I don't have time for questions or riddles. No wonder there's still work to be done on my latest experiments. After her patch, we got a chase. I'll just hit some stuff here now. Alright, so there's a chest over there on the left. Okay, so that was in fact what I was missing. Astra, are you okay? Do you need any help? Nah, Stormfly and I have got this. Are you two following that girl with the blue hair? Did she come through here? I think she might be behind what's happening with the dragons around here. Yeah, she went through those doors up there. Be careful, Scribbler. She could be dangerous. Let's go through those doors. Make sure you stock them on field medicines before you continue. I mean, I think we're good. We have a good amount of, you know, medicines and stuff. So I think we're fine. Let's go. Look at the size of that dragon patch. Doesn't look friendly either. But at least we know where the roars have been coming from. You two again. I can't have you interfering with my work any longer. Uh. Patch, look. Top of its head. That orb is similar to the ones of Deadly Natter that attacked us earlier. Uh. However, it looks far stronger and I don't think that my weapons could break it even if we reach it. We need to find some other way to smash it. Mm. Enough talk. It's hot purple. Hot purple? Wow. It's completely under my control. Attack the boy. I want the hatchling alive. Alright, well let's see how, how this goes here. Yeah, I don't think my attacks yeah no. I need to figure out a way to um I mean there there's a charge attack there. Hmm. What do, what do these switches do? I'm too tall to fit through these archways, but... Oh, okay. Well... Pressure plates. Am I supposed to make you crash on this stuff? Uh, l let's see. I did it wrong. It's a little tricky, but I kind of know the rhythm now. I, th I think I'm supposed to make him crash on these things. So he does three. Okay, am I supposed to go over after you now? think so. 
Oh dang it. I was one hit away. Oh wait, no, never mind. He's over here. Alright, well, I, I got you for one round. So I think that one is like completely destroyed now. I'm going to assume. Oh wait, this one is uh... I can't actually access that one. That's weird. Well, let's run to the left then. Right here, right here. Oh, shoot. Right there, right there. Bam. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, crap. Oh, he can, he can, I see. That's a pretty, uh... Oh, jeez. He warped. Got you. Okay. So that's two whole rounds. I don't think you can hit this guy after you deal additional... No, no. I don't think you can. Okay, but I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Now we'll go back like this. Oh god. Can I use shield against this? No, I cannot. Come on, do it. There we go. Where are you at? Cool, you're definitely going to be a tricky one to deal with here. Oh crap. I mean, you have to dodge his moves. And then attack him, but the thing is, he warps really fast, so gotta be very careful with that. Do your attack, please. I think he does two, and then he tries to warp away. Alright, that's the third round. Is there one more round? What is he doing now? Oh, he just flew away. Okay. We did it, Patch. Smashing that ore freed the hot purple from her control. Uh, I wonder how many other dragons she has out there. I need to update Hiccup. I'll send him a terror mill right now. I've been close to sample of some solution that seems to be triggering violent tendencies in the local wildlife. Any ideas what it is? And I don't know if this helped, but my hatchling and I just survived an insane fight with a huge hot purple. Long story. But it feels like alt adrenaline might have triggered some more memories. Another long story. I can now recall a gaunt, pallid man arriving on my home island. Scrivenrock. It was as if he appeared out of thin air with an elderly titan wing in tow. Seeing how he mistreated that old dragon made me so angry. I freed it and we flew away together. It took us here to Haven Home, almost like it was taking us back to its own home island. I can see now that the pale man hired those trappers to follow us here and set fire to Haven Home, but why? What's so special about that titan wing dragon? Where did it go? And where did my dragon's egg come from? Sorry for the random thoughts, but if I don't write them down, I might forget them all over again. <laughs> Not bad for a bookworm and an ice hatchling, right, Patch? Um. Patch? Patch, are you okay? Wait, what's happening to you? Huh? Wow, he grew. Patch, is that you? Are you okay? Wow, you can shoot lightning now? You are full of surprises. A major growth spur of the new ability. Where'd that come from? Do all dragons do that? Uh. Wait, your body and wings are bigger. Do you think you can fly now? Wanna give it a try? Whoa. Yeah, we're about to ride him on his back.
That is amazing. I remember reading about this, but to actually be up here flying on your back, it's just incredible. Hey, Scribbler. Whoa, is that Patch? What happened? Wait, do you know how to fly a dragon? <laughs> Not really. I just jumped into Patch's back and he got us to this point. Let me give you pointers. Ease up on your grip a little. Trying to relax and time your heartbeats to match patches. Writing isn't about control, it's about communication and trust. I want you to go for a test flight and when you're done, meet me and Toothless back at Haven Home Campground. You can film me on what's happened. Holds the R to flap Patch's wings, use lap to fly around. Okay. Press L right to perform a roll. Holds the R to stop Patch in midair. Okay. Return to Haven Home. Oh, well, that's interesting. Land at campground. Wait, I press X. Nothing happened. I mean, it's it's a little weird. Okay, can I look at a map or something? Well, here's yeah, same. Oh, there we go. X. You have to hold it until the whole circle fills up. Back in Haven home. Uh, I guess we just have to... Yeah, well, there we go. Scribbler and Patch, I'd like you to meet Gobber. He's my mentor and like a second father to me. Bah, if we've gotten the pleasant trees out of the way, maybe we can go about repairing Haven home so all those retiring dragons can return. Um. Scribbler was just filling me in on what's happened so far. It looks like we have a new enemy, one who can manipulate dragons. Um. We don't know much about her, not even her name. But she wasn't friendly. She has some sort of control over the hot purple, and it has something to do with the green substance in those orbs. Hmm. She also said once she had a broad, a broad wing who looked similar to Patch. Now, if that one aged as fast as Patch does, and maybe it was a titan wing who flew me here, and maybe it left behind an egg, Patch's egg. Uh. That makes sense, if only we knew where the, where the girl went after she fled the ruins. Um, forgive me for speaking out of turn, Chief Hiccup. The answer is staring you right in your squidgy face. That titan wing hot purple there. His bluish hide is more suited for arctic weather. <laughs> of course. The only island within a limited range of a hot purple would be Valka's Mountain. My mother's island. It isn't the hospitable oasis it once was. Sounds like fun. Just point the way and Patch and I will investigate. See what we can find out once we focus on restoring Haven home. Okay, but be careful. We don't know what this girl is after or who she's working with. Make sure you stock up before taking off. Now, that's my specialty. I can improve your weapons, craft your armor and helmets from ore. I see you've collect you've been collecting some on travel, so stop by my pop-up forge before you go. Another scroll. Salutations, Scribbler. It's nice to meet a fellow dragon enthusiast. I studied the sample you sent, and it is nasty stuff. A combination of Grimora toxin and dragon bind bulbs. Only some kind of mad genius would mess with that combination on purpose. Unfortunately, I'm a little less informed on your other trapper-related questions, but I might be able to get answers from a certain someone, son of someone. What? Someone, son of someone. When he returns from his patrol. Whatever you do, keep writing and keep safe. Sincerely, fish legs and meat leg. Fish meat says hi. Okay. Hmm, so those orbs are filled with Grimora toxin and dragon vine bulbs. Maybe they'd also know what caused your sudden and rapid growth, Patch. I'll ask them. Hi, fish legs and meat leg. Thanks for your analysis of the orb liquid and your words of caution. We've had just another development, or should I say my dragon has. Patch grew from a hatchling to broad wing in the blink of an eye. I know Hiccup. Said no one's ever encountered a chimera gone before, well, except for that angry girl in the dungeon. Anyway, do you know what could be causing such rapid growth in Patch? And more importantly, if there's a way to slow it down? Well, my time with Patch lasts forever, but it feels like I might lose him just as fast as I found him. <laughs> Scribbler or Patch, wait up. Here's a sky map. It should help you find your way around up there. Yeah, that'll actually be really helpful. Hmm. Check out smaller islands. Okay. Now Patch has evolved to a broad wing. You'll be able to take off to the skies whenever you are outside. Hold out X to take off. You can also now fast travel between checkpoints with a location once you have activated them. Press minus to open up the map, and then once on the map screen, press X to enter fast travel mode. That's pretty cool. Alright, so where did the guy say that he, like, upgrades your, like, stuff? I don't even remember. 
Oh, wait, was it one of these places here? I mean, it had to have been. I mean, he's not letting me, like, talk to him. What about, like... Is it... No, these people are not letting me talk to them. I don't know. Maybe I don't do it from here, but he was mentioning something about that. Or maybe it's over here. Oh, it's you. Okay, so apparently you can upgrade... Upgrading craft. So you can craft certain like really high powered equipment, I suppose. Boost scribbler's movement speed. Charge of damage. Okay. Hmm. Can block and deflect light physical attacks. Enemies are knocked uh, back a little when they strike the shield. Now these here, okay, so because these are upgrades, this is for like, what, weapons? Upgrade the arcana to, uh, to the Iron Breaker. Interesting. So, if I were to upgrade these, I guess I should give this a shot, let's see. Oh, it just does, it does more, yeah, I mean, it just ups the damage, I suppose. Which is not bad. I can't get any of these though. I'm just kind of trying things out, you know? <laughs> See you later. Oh, uh, let's see. I guess this one is, I guess, technically a better shield. Can block into flag or knock back. Yeah, because that's just like a basic one. Hmm. This one is at, yeah, it would be a five. Okay. I imagine the damage is, or the speed is still the same. Okay. Well, let's see here. Um, I think what I need to do... I'm gonna want to fast travel. I'm just trying to know where I actually have to go. Oh, here's like character information, or terror mail. Okay. Well, let's see here. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be going next. Press minus to open up the sky map. Okay. Um, yeah. Land at ruins now. Okay. Fly to Valka's Mountain. Where is Valka's Mountain? Oh, it's way over there? Okay. There's a lot of question mark places. This way? No, that's too... It's pointing somewhere over here. It should be where the destination is. Do I have this right? I, I think so. I mean, it's over there, so... It's starting to get cold up here, Patch. We must be getting closer to Valka's Mountain. Although I bet you don't feel cold with your ice abilities, do you? Uh. I have no idea what awaits us at Valka's Mountain, but if, it, but if it is where the hot purple came from, then it must hold some answers for us. Once we've landed, let's search the area for another set of ruins. Maybe we'll run into that girl again. I'm sure she's the key to everything that happened around here. Yeah, I mean, I bet. Yeah, because they were saying that I can explore other little islands first, which... I guess that wouldn't be a bad idea, but... I also just kind of want to keep going for now, you know? Okay, so do I just press the X button when I get close or something? It's not really... Cute. Oh, there we go, there we go. We're gonna land Valka's Mountain. Uh. 
we have arrived. Okay. Search of Alka's Mountain for the ruins. Press minus to open up the map. I'm trying to see what I can destroy here. Astrid, what brings you here? You got another terror mill from Burke, so Stormplan and I figured we'd hand deliver it. Besides, we need a break from the hiccup and Gobor arguing over where to put the new dragon wash. Dragon wash. Scribbler? What kind of name is Scribbler? It's almost as bad as fish legs. If only you two satisfied had the good fortune to get mainly inspiring name like, like Snot Lout. But hey, it must be your lucky day since fish legs is giving me like a bath, or is it the other way around? I'll take time out of my busy day to answer your questions. Now let's see here. Fast growing dragon, crazy dungeon girl, blah blah blah. You know what? This is boring. Sounds to me like you need to put your dragon on a diet. I do it all the time with Hook Fame. He's lucky to have a Viking like me to tell him what to do and to tell him how lucky he is to have a Viking like me. <laughs> you can barely see the word me. When I say fly, Hook Fame flies. When I say fire, Hook Fame fires, I imagine. Which, did he just burn that paper and... Yeah, that's that's actually really funny. When I say fire, Hook Fang... You know, he should spit fire. That's funny. Hiccup also asks you... Uh, okay, Horn of Dramillion. Horn of Dramillion, what does it do? It lets you call on some dragon reinforcements from Havenholm if you get in trouble in fighting trappers. Just give it a blow and the help will come. Wow, that's great, thank you. No problem, Stormplay and I are going to search for herbs that we can use to fuel medicines. There may still be some plant life by the hot springs. Remember, I've got supplies if you've got herbs to trade. Good luck. You too, Astrid. Alright. So, there's probably going to be a couple different areas to go here, or different ways. I'm going to break these tents now. Well, we'll obviously start by just, you know, going around and exploring here to see what we can find. Here's a chest over here. Can we get to it, though? Yeah, okay, we can break this. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. There's like a pool of water over there. Another chest up there. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll take it all. And there's a... Okay, I see another chest down there. So we do want to get to that one as well. For that, we do want to switch over to you. And I can switch now between his attacks too. Oh, nice. I guess we'll equip it. I mean, it usually is nice to see what this... Okay, it can partially resist physical and elemental damage, but it's also weak against heavy attacks and poison. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to keep going. There's a pathway there, which I believe is where I'm probably going to want to go. Looks like a patch is block patch. I recognize these pillars. Their design is familiar to me somehow. Uh. He's stretched running across the floor to these magnets there. Oh wait, I saw one of these in the other place. I bet they can be powered up. <laughs> Try to that statue with your lightning breath patch. I have a feeling it will open a path for us. Use the article to switch between patches. Oh uh, yeah, okay. All right, I had already talked about that. Here we go. You basically can shoot this stuff. Wait, do I have to break these things? <clears throat> Hold on, can I... No, I can't. Hold on, am I supposed to be hitting the center thing? Oh, I am, okay. God, I thought I had to be hitting the, the things on the side to like charge it up or something. Um, let's see, I don't see anything in there. There's a pathway up here, which I imagine will lead to a treasure or something. Oh no, that just goes back. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't mean you could break that. My bad. Yes, yeah, so I've already been there. Huh. 
Okay, there we got a checkpoint. Pathway onto the left. Another one of these, huh? Perfect, that activates that. This lets us go back, which I imagine I would need to go to the right side. Oh, no, wait, never mind, no. It only leads to a chest, so we'll take it. Rusty sword. Is that, what the hell, fast slashing weapon? Huh. Well, I'm gonna equip the, oh, this one only because that one's not upgraded, and this, this one attack... This weapon is, I guess, technically five times stronger than the sword at the moment. Okay, let's keep going. Pretty straightforward so far. Okay, finally we got some battles. Remember that you now have the Horde of Dramillion. When in combat, you can press R and it's like which dragon you want to call in for help. Some dragons will help you defeat the trappers, while others will bring you aid. You can unlock more dragons by rescuing them in boss battles and from some of the side islands discovered while exploring the skies. Okay. Should I give it a shot now? I probably should. Oh my god. That did a... Uh, oh shoot. Half damage per hit. That's a very strong weapon that I have there. But yeah, I ended up not calling them yet. I'll just save that for uh, some other time in the near future, I imagine. Okay, uh... Can I break this stuff? No. That was only for a treasure, it seems. Okay. And then I can only go there. There's nothing to the left. Oh, my bad. Wrong one. Anything over here? Uh, no. Okay. Well, in that case, we'll go like this. I think I saw something up right there. Okay, there's nothing there either. Sometimes you just gotta check, you know? You gotta be extra observant with that stuff. You're here again. I don't think I need anything, though. Yeah, we're not gonna do it. It's fine. Okay, that path is blocking us. So we'll definitely go... I guess this is the only other way to go. Well, there's a bridge there. What's over here? That's also blocking us. Okay. Alright, so I imagine we just gotta hit that one, and that... I see, that opens up the bottom one. And now we can run around to uh, unlock that pathway over there. And it seems like both of these will loop around into themselves. I'm not sure. No, but I, it could lead to something else. Let me actually go... This way? Oh, interesting. Okay. I gotta find another one then. Where's this last one? I know it's gotta be here somewhere. This one? Let's see. Yeah, that activates the bridge. Okay. That was such a long pathway just to get all the way up here, but there's no chest, so that was only for the for the statue switch, so now we have to run all the way back down. Alright, there we go, just like that. Um 
This looks suspicious. I don't think there's anything though. I'm pretty sure I'm good. So let's do this. Oh wow. I don't know if the third hit in the combo does more damage. That right there looked like I, it kind of was true. I think it does a little bit more. But my really good weapon here, I'm demolishing these guys right now. So that's pretty good. Destroying all it just it's just a nice gratifying feeling, you know? Just destroying everything. Okay, um, let's see here. We're gonna go no, nothing over there. I think that's about it. Wait, didn't we come in from Oh no no that, that is a different pathway, okay. For a second there, I thought it was like the same path that I just came in from, but that's no, that's not true. Glowing statues can be activated with Patch's lightning ability. If they remain glowing after being hit, then that statue can be hit. If the glow fades, then the statue is now inactive. Interesting. So, let's see here. No, I think we're good. Okay. Oh, shoot. Where'd you go? Waiting for your attack. Oh damn, you hit that many times in a row? You do one, two. Oh, you hit the dragon there directly. Jesus Christ. What the hell? What the? What just happened? Did I just, did I accidentally press the button? Okay, now I haven't hit this guy a single time. Well, he's freaking hard to hit, dude. Like, move! I need you to move. Well, okay, it's only because, okay, I see. This guy is hard. Land, please. That was a miss? Are you kidding me right now? I have to use up all my freaking potions here. Man, that was a very agile guy right there. I couldn't even land a hit. Maybe I needed to switch to a faster weapon. Because that shit really gave me problems. I had to use up a bunch of my weak potions on that, though. Nothing? Hmm. Okay, we got another new enemy here. Okay, what, what are you doing? What the hell? Somebody threw a trap at him. I don't know where that came from. Okay, here's another one of these. We'll hit that one. Hmm. I made something happen. I'm not really sure what. can do is hit that. There's nothing else in this room. I see. Now we gotta hit the other one, I think, because they got in the way. Oh, there's a treasure here, at least. Okay. Well, let's grab this. We got a potion. I guess that's something. I mean, you can only carry up to three of each. That's something I didn't really mention, but I'm sure you could figure it out, you know? Mm. 
All right, so that moved those blocks there. I wonder what this was for. Oh, just to open the pathway? Yeah, that's what it was. What are you doing all the way over here, dude? Uh, that's a little strange. Do I have to now, uh... Let's see. Just trying to hit these for some resources. There we go. Yeah, so... There's this pathway here, but I can't... Maybe it's from the side. Maybe it's from an angle that I have to do that. Let's see. Yeah. That's what I had to do. Okay. Oh, wait, no. That just goes... That is very strange. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Oh, just that way. No, isn't that where I... Wait, didn't I come from this side? Totally came from this way. I'm not gonna fight this guy again, dude. I thought those were actually one time battles. Apparently, they're not. They respawn every time you. So, in that case, there's no point in facing those enemies then. Nor this guy. Okay, I'm a little confused about this. It's not making any sense to me. Because. I mean, everything basically. Okay, that one got pulled that way. Those blocks were there, so I like I think it wants me to now hit these for some reason. So now I walk, I guess I can use them to walk across, okay. But it's not the same. Oh no, I see, never mind. It took us to a different pathway, okay. Never mind. Never mind on that. I guess I'm starting to see something here. Whoops. What? No, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. Because these battles are, like, optional. Unless they actually block your path, can't you just technically, like, avoid them? Because there's no, like, experience system in this game. Like, there's no really need to fight enemies. You know? Wait, why can't I open this treasure? That's kind of weird. Is that treasure locked? That's very strange. Maybe I should fight some of these guys though. God damn, dude! Oh my god, these guys are so hard to hit. Like... God damn! Dude, I am just trying to hit you, like, that's why, I, that's why I'm not a fan of the combat, because it's just so, like, it's hard, it's really hard to hit these enemies at times. Well, I'm still trying to figure out what that treasure up there, if I can even open it, because if I can't, then there's no need to waste too much time. Man, the combat, though, is really... God. Unless it's like locked by defeating an enemy or something. I, I mean, I've never heard of that before, but the game didn't really talk about that in its tutorial part. Yeah, no, it's not that. Unless there's more enemies. Let's see. Oh, no, there are more enemies. Can I open it now? Oh my god, it's locked by enemies? So like, if you want to open a chest in any room, you have to defeat all the enemies in that room? That's a little odd. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna do that. The chest over here. We'll open this one. Okay, I wanna look at the map. Um. Wait, I came in from all the way. Hmm. I mean, the map doesn't really show, like, if there's any optional routes. I don't think it would show that, but we're kind of getting over there slowly but surely. I'm gonna start by going this way first. Yeah, there's some treasure there, we'll take it. Ooh, then there's this. Let's hit that. Oh, look at that, okay. So I did choose correctly by running this way first. Looks like something you can interact with, but no, I don't think you can. Okay, new area here. There we go, just getting a bunch of stuff. Perfect, okay. Well, no optional paths not from what I see. We just keep going straight ahead. Oh, look, it's you. I wonder if I should buy something. Man, I probably should. I mean, these things are so cheap in value that I might as well do it, you know? And then these are also pretty... Uh, it's fine. Okay. Uh, let's just keep breaking these things along the way. Oh, there's a pathway up there, too. Where's up this way? Um, have I already been here? No, I don't think I had. Um, okay, I want to check out the other side because I don't want to ruin all these things here. This is like a crazy puzzle room. So I, I need to make absolute sure that I don't like ruin anything. Let me run back this way. So basically... Okay, if I hit this, it, what, what does this do? Why would I want to do... Hold on, let me try it again. So I think that's just to move forward because if I go like this, oh no no you can't make it, okay I see. Although he's about to die I just realized. Okay I'm gonna guess like that. And then I'm going to start hitting these other ones to see what they do. Oh, okay, that one just opens a shortcut there. Okay, that's good to know. What does this one up here do then? Oh, okay. Now we have a path that will let us go through. And there's this one here. I see. That makes sense. Okay, now we can go. Okay, so it wasn't as crazy as I thought. Down goes back down like that, and then we have to hit the first one as well. But luckily, we can take the shortcut back like this. Hit this one. 
And there we go, the pathway is set up perfectly for us. Okay, we're gonna start by hitting that. We cannot. Hmm. We gotta hit this one then. Okay, that activated the second one. And I imagine that activates the third one. Yes, it does. Okay, pretty straightforward here. What? What was that? What? Okay. We'll just leave that there. Hmm. Let's see, anything up here? Uh, no, just a block pathway. I push that over, whatever that did, we'll figure it out soon. Uh, then there's this over here. Okay, I think that's where the... Don't know if I missed something over there, though. I suppose it's possible, but... I'm also not completely sure. Oh, shoot. What if I try, um... Let's see what this does. Is it even hitting him? That killed me? Didn't I have like two hearts? Did that attack just hit me for two hearts of damage? No way. I really thought all attacks hit like half a heart to a heart max. Oh my god, I was way off on it. Look at that. I already took a, one and a two and a quarter. I think I got hit twice. Oh my Jesus Christ, this guy is ridiculous. This guy is crazy. Oh, you can't even dodge that hit. I just got... Oh my god, you need to get away from that range. The stupid roll is so bad. God, I can't... It's just so sluggish. Oh, I see. You can't do that when you're... Okay. This is ridiculous, man. Oh, the comet actually is very hard in this game. Like, I'm slowly seeing that because it's ridiculous. Five hearts plus I think the two that I heal in that battle, I took like seven hearts of damage. And, and it's not because it was like freaking horrible on my part. Like, yeah, I'm not the best in this game, but like... It has to do mostly with like attack patterns and the sluggishness of it and... How awkward the, like the dodge roll is and the angles like I don't know it's really hard to explain but if you if you've played the game or if you're playing along then you can easily relate to what I'm saying but if you happen you're just watching you're like dude what the hell like you just it's gotta be one of those things like you gotta you know you, you gotta play it yourself to really understand what I'm talking about because my God is it is a combat really just it feels very clunky you know like it wasn't well developed but I don't know. Alright, so I guess I gotta end the video here because I actually am out of time. Okay, so before this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.